Hey y'all, Goose and Sir Dummies here, bringing you guys my first ever Presents book review for Bad Hair Day, book 10, based off the episode, based off the book. So, yeah, this is my first of this little mini Goosem series, very short-lived, sadly. It only reached 18 books, which is, you know, not actually that <laughs> short compared to modern day stuff. In this series, this is my first review, y'all. Uh, you're probably watching this, you know, halfway through the series. If you're watching the playlist, you know, with all the books in it, or, you know, whatever I do in the future, maybe I'll do an individual presents playlist, but like, this, this, just, 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 uh, it's just the average presents book. I think this is the one I read six, this is the sixth one I've read. Um, at the time though, I have read eight or something. Yeah, nothing notable here. I'll just say that. And, um, this just so happens to be your first review. I just don't recommend picking these up at all unless you're a collector. Yeah, there's my advice. They're not worth it. Anyways, yeah, let's get into the blurb. And now for the blurb that nobody fucking cares about, probably. Hell, because I am Hell, because you. One day I'm going to be an amazing, famous magician. Just like my hero, Amazo. He's the greatest magician ever. But I'm starting to think his tricks have a mind of their own. How do I know so much about Mamezo's tricks? Because I stole some. That's crazy, man. Actually, a whole rag vault. That's even crazier. And that's where I found out about the rabbit. A living, breathing, talking rabbit. But this rabbit's no friendly pet. He's got a lot of nasty things to say. The body blade is pure evil. Tim Swanson. Little nerd ass. Yep. <sighs> this book's mid. <laughs> oh, actually, it's a little bit below mid. According to what I put, because I barely remember jack shit. Just think about the episode, and you're thinking about the book. And just think, would that work as a book adaptation? And that's what you're going to get. Let's say Ed Ghost Speech. Would that work as a great, individual, very short book? I don't think it would. And it didn't really work well. It was kind of mid, kind of boring, kind of bland, if you catch my drift. That is this book in a nutshell. And basically every book in this series, with maybe a few exceptions. I think book 1 and 18 were both really good. Great start, great ending. Um, even if they were still fairly mid, I still give them like free, free stars on Goodreads. So, you know, but they're still good. They're still decent reads overall. But this was definitely one of the least decent ones I've read. Like, actually, probably bad territory. It's in my top 10 worst, but it's not really that bad if you catch my drift. Let's just get to uh, the, uh, the upsides, I guess. So what little do I have to say about this book that's great? And what little do I have to say that's bad? We'll get to it in a minute, of course. Well, this book at least had good writing. I'll give it that. Um, it had an interesting premise, um, but overall, nothing really notable. <laughs> yep, that's all I have to say. And now for the downsides really quickly. <laughs> this is so quick. I don't know if my overview is really this short, but this is just nothing really to talk about here. I will say the story is not great. I don't like the episode adaptation that much already, so this is, isn't a great episode to adapt into a book. I think to take this place, they should have done something great, like actually really good. Maybe, you know, an actually solid fucking story. Well, I don't know. Maybe they could, really, you know, done Cry of the Cat. That existed at the time, of course. I don't know when this came out. Maybe they could have done, oh, I don't know. Scarecrow walks in bed night. I would have been fired, goddammit. But no, we got Bad Hair Day. Yeah. Yep, not a great story to adapt. And wasn't a very, you know, interesting read. You know, just whatever. What would I give this book? 3.5 out of 10. Not terrible, but still bad. Just, it's just bad. Not really like a wholehearted, oh, this is bad. Do not ever pick this up. I don't recommend it at all. It's just boring. Yeah, um... I guess if you're wanting to get into Goosebumps, this might be a good transition if you're not really a great reader. This might help you get into it. Like, you start a few of these and you try out a full book. Obviously, start with a good one. And then, yeah, you can transition into reading with these. But I won't pick out this one. I'll just tell you that. This is definitely the weakest one I've read because they're usually around 5 or 6 out of 10s. Rarely ever a 7. I don't think I have a single 7 out of 10 in my entire um, entire, I mean, literally every single book ever fucking made for Goosebumps, but doesn't count, you know, stupid books like the activity book from the movies and stuff and how to draw Goosebumps. <laughs> this, that's where they usually end up on my entirety ranking of the entire Goosebumps franchise. And that's where a majority of them are. I think there's about seven there, eight there now. 
depending on how many I have. I've read every single one I own, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next video, which should be either my Night Living Dummy Review Top 5 Most Underrated Goosebumps Books, or Overhated, precisely. I think one of them is pretty well hated, and not for good reasons, so yeah. Anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys with hopefully a more interesting video. Anyways, yeah, see ya. Um, bye. Are you bored yet?